Hey guys, this will be my last quick uh, video series on XHTML and in this video I will be talking about how to convert HTML documents to XHTML documents. Now for example you might have started uh, creating a website using HTML and halfway through you uh, stumble upon XHTML, learnt about it and decided that you wanted to change to XHTML. Now although HTML 4.0.4.01 and XHTML 1.0 is really really similar, there's a couple of changes you might you have to make. Now I will talk about a few of uh, all of them. Firstly, we have to change the doc type decoration from whatever HTML version you are using to XHTML 1.0. Okay, after that, in our HTML start tag, we have to insert the XML NS, uh, what do you call it, attribute here. Now, the third thing is we have to change all the tag names if they were uppercase to lowercase. So, if for example, if we had an H1 like so, we need to change it to h1 with h in lowercase. Now also for say we had a color property or blue in for our p tag but our color property was in uppercase we have to change all of them to lowercase. Now say for example we had well I don't know why this bigger than is missing but oh, for example we had these uh, br and hr tags we have to make sure that we close all these elements using the forward slash and then we change all the attributes name to lowercase so we change everything to lowercase uh, both this and this I already talked about attributes didn't I yeah and uh, that's about it and we have to make sure that we don't use the what do you call it the attribute minimization but I haven't shown you that so hopefully you'll be fine and minimized HTML attributes is completely ugly so you don't even know about that so that's about it that's about that's five or six things you have to do it's not too hard as long as you have relatively clean HTML and don't have like an uppercase for all your tags and you have about you have about 100 tags to change you only take about two minutes mainly being googling the doc type decoration for the XHTML and adding this and maybe adding a couple of forward slashes in your line breaks and horizontal lines now if you're worried about your uh, <coughs> XHTML document when you convert it from HTML to XHTML you can use the markup validator by the w3.org validator.w3.org slash sharp hyphen validate underscore by underscore URI oh that's by that so yeah all you need to do is go to this one and it takes you to this site. It's one of the official uh, checkup sites for your XHTML or your HTML. Now, if you go to, you don't have to do that. Now, there's three ways to validate it. If your uh, website is already uploaded onto a server, you can add in your address, HTTP. Oops. T T T T P www dot something dot com. Okay, or you can validate by file upload. You can choose a file, choose your HTML file, and upload it. Or you can directly input all your HTML, copy that and paste, bang, and so on. Now, if we go to more options over here, the character encoding that could be uh, detect automatically most of the time I'm going to assume that it's going to be UTF-8 because that's one of the most common ones 
<coughs> and we could either ask it to detect automatically or we could change it to XHTML and uh, for this I'm going to say XHTML 1.0 transitional I'm not really going to talk about the difference between strict transitional and frame set because we haven't learnt about uh, the frame set and stuff but if you're interested you can google it and have a read about it and these you can show source, you can clean up, you can validate and you can just have have a play around with this and just ask to check it out so yeah that's about it uh, that was a quick uh, video talking about changing or converting from HTML to XHTML and about this cool markup validation service offered by w3.org technically it's w isn't it www www yeah it's a world wide web it's the official site for which creates HTML CSS and stuff so yeah it's cool so thanks for watching and in my I think I'll be uploading a JavaScript a video tutorial series next and after that I haven't decided yet but I'll do something cool so see you later